Hey, what's up everybody? My name is John Hammond, and in this YouTube video, I want to be showing off how we can easily set up Sublime Text 2. So if you have not heard of Sublime Text, it is one awesome text editor that I use on the daily. Um, and it's pretty fantastic for programming, really just about anything for when you're just editing text and, uh, you know, manipulating stuff on your computer. So... Sublime Text is awesome. It's cross-platform. It has a bunch of awesome features. It's really, really cool. It's just a, what I recommend, and I think you will fall in love with it as, uh, as, as we go through more. Um, I use it in all the time when I'm programming, and I plan on using it as the tutorial text editor for tutorials that I write, as I have been doing that. Uh, but I figured I might as well just show off how to get it really easily, because I know the download stuff, you can download versions of it, Sublime Text 2, Sublime Text 3, but the tarball stuff is not that user-friendly to work with, but setting it up with a PPA or like a uh, little archive repository is very easy to do, so I want to show off that. So if you wanted to, you could literally just search Sublime Text PPA, like a little Ubuntu... Linux, uh, small personal archive we can grab. So I just want to grab that, and we can apt add repository to add that to places we can download from. We can hit enter to confirm that we want to use that. We'll go ahead and update so we get all the changes that we just made. And then we'll be able to install the package as if it were in our repositories, because we pretty much just added it to it. So I can run sudo apt get install, sublime text, and it's just sublime hyphen text, that's the syntax for the repository. It should be set up. At that point, we can run sublime hyphen text as a command line argument, and we've got our text editor here. And zoom in on this a little bit. And sublime text is set up for us. Obviously, we don't have to run it straight from the command line. We can just fire it up through Unity. Does the same thing. Um, now, another thing that I want to show you is just Sublime Text. I'm sorry, Sublime Text Package Controller. Package Controller. You should be able to browse packages, but if you want to add more interesting stuff, like other libraries or modules, I guess you could consider them libraries or modules. You could just add to Sublime Text, like plugins. That's the word I wanted. You can add package control. Sublime Text Package Manager. Right now, we're using uh, Sublime Text 2. So, if we go to the installation of this, we can select the Sublime Text 2 here. And the instructions that this website gives is that if you access the Sublime Text console, you can hit that with Control and the back tick button or View Show Console. We should be able to view Show Console or that same back tick. And I just have a bunch of junk in here, but you can paste in that code that we just copied, hit enter, and we are told to restart Sublime Text to finish our installation. We can do that. And we should get a pop-up, hey, package control is just installed. Okay, it looks like it installed SSL as well, so they wanted to restart one more time. Sure, that's fine by me. We'll do that. And now we can hit control shift P to get our little command prompt. And we can install packages with package control. We can use things like file header or uh, LaTeX tools. Anything else you might want to set up and add to Sublime Text. But that's a really easy way to set it up. You just get a little PPA you can grab, add to your repositories, and install it as if it were any other software from your repositories. And uh, now we can write some code. Code. Yay. <laughs> I had a little caps lock over there. That was an accident. All right, cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this real quick stuff. And I'll show you some more cool stuff real soon.